Hey, what's up everyone? Dominator TX coming at ya. This is called Regalia, R-E-G-A-L-I-A. -A. I believe it's a remake and it's also on PC and it's on sale. Usually it's like 30 but I got it for like $4 on PlayStation Store. Just getting started so far, I think the graphics are beautiful. So I just wanted to go through the very first battle. Um, I guess it's part of the story. You have to go through it. And it's not all that intuitive if you've never played it. But just in case you downloaded, I thought I would help you out. So this is the main character. His name is Kay, K-A-Y. And as you can see, by holding the R2 button, you have various different types of options. And what I'm electing to do is put shield on my guard. Because Griffith, who is my vanguard, as you can see, he is a swordsman. And I've buffed him with 170 shield so that he has more hit points. Why did I do that? When I played this for the first time a few minutes ago, I lost. Um, these rats are pretty strong and never played this game and this is the second time playing and by giving him a little bit extra boost, it helped me out. So now it's Griffith, his turn and as you can see, his attacks are only within one block. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I'm just I'm just trying different things out, but I'm going to move him over here because he can take hits. His hit point is much higher than the main character K, and plus I buffed him, so he should be in good shape. And as you can see, as I go through different commands, it gives me red spaces are where I can attack or cast a spell. And I've elected to blind that small rat. So this is a second turn. And they give you, because I'm just starting out, a bunch of tutorial things, which is pretty cool because, again, this game is not intuitive. But for $4, I'm telling you, um, graphics are really well done. I think the story is really good so far. You know, he in inherited this huge castle from you know, his family and we're just getting off, we're just getting started. So what I want to do is keep K far away as possible from action, but I want him to be able to shoot. So he has, see that little thing right there, the gun? Yep, he can shoot, so... Watch this. Boom! So 137, and the first rat has 153 health left. I, I'm not really sure what that triangle, the little lightning thing means yet, but... I don't know, I'll press it whenever it's lit not up. Yet. And then... When you're done, you're done. Um, and then you press the square button. And... Okay, so this is the next turn. He goes first. And as you can see, the gun is not available for two more turns. That's what that two means. And I'm just trying to figure out different options that I can play. These turn-based strategy games can be very addicting and can be very fun to play. But, if you're not used to it, oh, so the rats have this attack called Sneeze, which I think is pretty darn weird. Okay, so, he took away 167 from my shield, which is on the right-hand side, but not my health, which is on the left-hand side, the 850. So now, the Vanguard, Griffith's turn, and as you can see, I've elected to do a crescent to strike that hits both of the enemies as you can see 
So the first rat and the second rat are 35 and 135 hit points, so I've weakened them pretty good. And with K's next turn, he should be able to kill at least one of them. Do not falter. I mean, again, I don't really know what some of these buttons do. And then the big rat from far away does this thing called Dust Cannon. So he took some health points away from K. The only thing K cannot do is buff himself, which I think is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm just trying to figure out what my options are. And that one it says would do 95% base damage. So I'll go up one block and then I choose one of the attacks called Rend, R-E-N-D. So one down and three more to go. And so those are the turns I have to wait. So next turn looks like I should be able to use my gun, which is good, or musket, whatever you want to call it. So again, I want uh, Griffith to take majority of the hits because he has a higher hit point. So I'm going to back off a little bit. So the sneeze. Ugh. Okay, so it's my turn now. Griffith. So that's his regular attack, which you don't have to wait for turns to oh so he's got seven hit point left so he should he should be uh, dispensed in the next turn by K or Griffith whoever goes first so dust cannon here it comes the dust cannon does has an area effect which means it hits anybody within that area including his own rats which is uh, not a smart thing to do, right? But okay, so that's We're two gone. I mean, again, the first time I played this, they killed me really easily, and I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm just trying to play this better this time. Um, so now that he has all of his health left, thanks to Push the uh, the shield that I put on him. I can go up against the big rat. In the meantime, see, now my bang is back. So I'm gonna... So, 130. Very nice. And then I'm gonna go away. Hopefully the, the small rat can't get there and hit me, but we'll find out. Nope. Very good play. These are kinds of things you have to learn when you're playing these uh, turn-based strategies because if you move away far enough and your enemy cannot act then you in fact have gained an upper hand. I've played a lot of these turn-based games and some of my favorite games of all time have been turn-based um, and I just put shield back Not on yet. my vanguard because he's about to fight that big rat. Um, one of my favorite games of all time is called John, Joan the d'Arc, Joan, uh, based on the French girl that saved France, and it was on PlayStation Portable, PSP, absolutely love that game. Uh, I think it took about 25, 26 hours to complete, and it's just emotional story, very well done, I loved it. So I need to move up one so I can be within striking distance and I can use that or I can use anything but I'm going to use my crescent because it looks like it does the most damage. Very good. So now I can use crescent for three more turns. Yeah, see? It takes away from his rat too. So this is turn number six. See that eyeball? That means it's out of sight, which means you can't hit that big rat. So I take care of... I hit the small rat. And then I move away. Because again, his health is... Once it goes to zero, you're dead, so... 
Okay, very good. So my vanguard is moving out of the way and he's not taking hits. See, had I saved the crescent, I could have hit both of them at the same time, but it is what it is. But that's okay. I had no idea the small rat was going to come close to me. Um, so the AI looks like it's pretty darn smart. He's going after my main character or the one with the weakest lowest health point. So now I'm too far away from hitting the big rat, so I'm going to move closer. And then, oh! Well, I think I'm just going to buff my guy because best offense is best defense. Take this. And now he has 425 shield. So I'm going to have to remember this as I play because when the enemy hits, it hits the shield, not his health. Uh, thereby saving him lots of hits in effect. So it's a very cool... Usually the games that I play don't have that feature, which I think is pretty darn cool. Oh no! That was a mess. I don't like that. Okay, so he's continuing his assault on my main character, K. He's down to 279, so I'm a little concerned. Oh, okay, so now I can use my bang attack, so I'll go a little bit closer. There we go, he's at 211 health. Oh, it's another mess! Why does this keep happening? Oh, the good news is they move a little bit closer. The small rat, so with this next hit, I should be able to dispense both of them. Press and strike, yep. And that's how you win the very first one. It's not counter, it's not intuitive. 